Hi guys, I'm Mike and this is F1 Fanatics. Welcome back to another film review on the channel and today's film was just released last week on Netflix so if you haven't seen it I would highly recommend it and that is A Life of Speed the one Manuel Fangio story and basically you know it is a film that takes a look back at probably the first great of Formula One and that is one one well Fangio of course five time Formula One World Championship won five championships in the decade of the 1950s four with different teams which has never been done by any driver um, before and so yeah I, I thought you know I watched it it was a great movie I enjoyed it and thought I would share my thoughts just like last week with Ferrari race um, for immortality uh, you know funnily enough we're still in that kind of 50s decade uh, but yeah it, it was a fantastic movie and so as last week thought I'd share my thoughts with this one so uh, like I said, this is basically a film that follows the story of one Manuel Fangio. It kind of almost, you know, is a documentary depicting his life, his achievements, some key moments within his life. Um, and, you know, it starts off uh, with his kind of street racing or the kind of massive endurance events that he raced in Argentina. He didn't even win his first race until he was 30 years of age. And then he came over to Europe when he was 37 and he won all five of his world championships when he was in his 40s. Uh, during this kind of uh, documentary, it has it cuts to people who, uh, you know, drivers of different decades who talk about Fangio. You have... Um, Jackie Stewart talking about him saying how you know he says he's the best and you know had so much admiration for him and when Fangio uh, walked on the grid you know he, he just kind of oozed class and he, he kind of was like a magnet everyone was absorbed by him and his personality uh, you had people like Mika Hakkinen talking about him Alain Prost uh, Nico Rosberg featured quite heavily and Toto Wolff as well you know Nico to give the modern F1 perspective of comparing and he makes he makes a very good point during the movie where he goes you know racing back then was all about having the experience so that's why you know you had guys later on in their years being able to compete and able to compete and win world championships like Fangio did because it was the experience of handling the car it was the driving because you know everything was unreliable it was and you know as we found out in last week's movie the cost and danger of lives during that period was absolutely huge as well so um you know that was far more important than the reactions that you know nico rosberg lays out in today's world that makes formula one a young man's game but you know this was kind of a mix of historic footage uh, of Fangio racing or Fangio talking about his racing career or certain races during his racing career and it was a really fantastic blend and an interesting element on it obviously you know uh, one man Fangio because of his achievements he comes into the all-time great debate and you know I always like to split the all-time great debate into classic f1 and modern f1 because i just think the sport is so far from what it started back in the 50s that you know it's um it, it's difficult really to compare but there was this university student who had done like a statistical analysis taking into account loads of factors and everything you know uh, as much as it did and as much as you can rely on the stats and of course Fangio came out on top of this stat but you, you can't really argue Fangio is one of the all-time greats like I said at the start of the video five-time world champion back you know the next person to win five Formula One world championships 
was Michael Schumacher and there was a load of great drivers in between then and now but none of them reached the heights of what Fangio did in his career and in the early stages of Formula 1 which is absolutely amazing to think but you know it, it was incredible getting an insight into his life into the type of person that he is obviously he was very much part of that gentleman era uh time of racing and i this movie really does a fantastic job at displaying it you know it just some fantastic stories from his life and i i try and keep obviously this as spoiler free because i think a lot of people wouldn't have watched it by now and obviously with self quarantines in time it's certainly you know uh, an hour and a half i think it is well spent and it's important i think to kind of embrace the history of the sport and have a better understanding and really is a fantastic uh, movie to watch but yeah one of the story was back then obviously drivers competed in non-championship rounds and championship rounds and were just competing in loads of races well obviously the formula one drivers today incredibly well paid that they just have to compete in formula one and obviously the formula one calendar has extended enough uh, that obviously they can't really compete in any other series even if they would like to but yeah there was one story he was competing in a non-championship race in ireland on the saturday and needed to be in monza on the sunday for the f1 calendar he then um he got a flight from Ireland to England. He then wanted to get a flight to Italy but couldn't so then had to get a flight to Paris. By the time he arrived in Paris it was midnight and there were no trains to Italy. So then he got a car and he drove to Monza. He arrived on the Sunday at 2pm. The race started at 2.30pm and unfortunately you know you would go even if he finished the race what an incredible effort he's put on his body and mental to think what he would have done you know tiredness i know me and ash kind of joked about in our ridiculous versus realistic ideas about drivers uh driving to the next circuit and then competing but he, he genuinely did um over the course of a day uh which was yeah absolutely mental i mean it would have been less than 24 hours and un unfortunately in that race you know that was his first ever major formula one crash and you know he, he crashed unconscious and woke up in a hospital three hours later but it, it shows kind of the pressures that those drivers put themselves under back in those days um you know just to kind of compete in races you'd never get well one because the world's far more connected uh, than it is back then but yeah you know I, I can't imagine competing in a race on the saturday in ireland and getting over to monza half hour before starting a race just just mental that he even comprehended in doing that and competing in that but yeah was absolutely crazy um to believe but in in conclusion in this film again it's one that i would highly recommend i thought it was a brilliant movie and a brilliant documentary of fanjo's life um you know it it was important kind of it had people who had known him uh during their time uh you know a mechanic from maserati had some kind of um stories to tell about fanjo uh, you know jackie stewart remembering stories not obviously competing against fangio but being able to tell stories of growing up watching him and uh you know meeting him on the grid it it was just a fantastic blend of historic footage uh you know ex formula one drivers talking about him how you know they think he's the greatest of all time the kind of the, the statistical analysis was very interesting from this university student whether you read too much into it or not because racing for me can't be decided uh by a statistical analysis but it is interesting to see uh where he kind of comes out on top in these things but what what a what a driver what a what a man he was you know such a kind-hearted and 
yeah, yeah, just all round good guy. I think is what one man Fangio would be described by his peers, and it's always fascinating looking into the history of F1. And again, like it's another movie to go and support because hopefully, you know, if it does well then we'll keep getting more and more movies about the history of the sport, about drivers who've competed in the sport. And, yeah, we, it, it's just absolutely fascinating to kind of hear and learn about these guys. So, yeah, a, another absolutely brilliant movie. I thoroughly enjoyed this one. And I would definitely recommend, if you guys haven't already, to go and watch it. If you have done so and you would like to talk about it, obviously get involved in the comments down below. We'd love to chat about your thoughts about the movie, what you thought, what were your kind of favourite moments from it, what kind of really stood out uh, for you in the movie, and what stood out to you as Fangio as a driver, what what kind of made him stand out as an all-time great to you. Um, but if you're new around here and you haven't done so already, you can subscribe and keep up to date with all our latest content just like this one. Um, you know, we have a F1 Worldwide episode coming out tomorrow uh, talking about, well, it was then when we recorded it, the 2021 rules. Now, obviously, that's 2022 rules, but that was a great discussion of what we think the impact might be on the sport and discussing how, you know, the pushback to 2022 uh, may affect the grid and may affect things uh, with the rules so hopefully that's an enjoyable video but that's just a kind of taster of things to come on the channel um, but guys i hope you've enjoyed this one another brilliant movie and yeah just couldn't recommend it highly enough one man found you an absolute legend of the sport and why wouldn't you want to kind of invest the time to learn a little bit more about the history of the sport that we all love but that is it for today, guys. So for now, UF1 fans, keep racing.